Hiya! My name is Simon and I typically show my life here in the UK. If you're interested in that, go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't done so already. Today I am in Milton Keys and it is a beautiful sunny day here in England. I'll show you what I've been up to since I've been here. My first stop in Milton Keys was to Midsummer Place which is a large shopping center consisting of clothing stores, fragrance shops, and anything else you can think of. There's also a wide variety of food vendors that I'll show you later on. I wanted to explore a smaller town and I was surprised to learn that Milton Keys is one of the UK's newest cities. It was developed in the late 1960s to help alleviate the overcrowding that was happening in London after the war and it's actually maintained a steady economy since its establishment. It was a pleasant surprise to see that there is an upside down house inside the shopping center. And for only five pounds to enter, I couldn't resist going in and exploring. If you're not familiar with an upside down house, it's literally a fun house that has been turned upside down and typical household items are nailed into place. So you walk around and you take pictures and when you take your pictures and rotate them 180 degrees, it'll appear as if you are upside down. After hanging around the house, I decided to grab something to eat from this yummy Greek food cart. Brandon Griffin decided to grab a bite from the brat stand that was located in the courtyard garden area. When trying to choose something to eat, there's so many selections in Midsummer Place. From Pizza Hut to Nando's, there's something for all taste buds. So what'd you order? Burger. What'd you get on it? Grilled onions, ketchup, mustard, pickles. They didn't have relish. Yeah. There is no relish in the UK. That's a shame. doing water sports instead so I don't know what that's about <laughs> when I initially headed to Willen Lake it was with the intentions to go for a swim hence the lack of makeup at the beginning of this video <laughs> however I learned that there were specific times for swimming Willen Lake has a great selection of water activities for staying cool in the sun, such as paddleboarding, wakeboarding, and even windsurfing. Sessions for these activities can be booked online or at the park. Since I was visiting on literally one of the hottest days in the UK, most of the water activities were booked. I decided to go up to the terrace and then just enjoy the view of the water. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button so you are notified when I post another one. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.